data class decorator. Now what the data class decorator will do is automatically fill in that boilerplate code that you're used to writing yourself. So you can see here that what we're doing in this class is we're really just storing some information. So we might have a method, right, where we're calculating some cost, but generally we're just storing a name, price, and quantity, and then we're writing a representation method, something you've probably seen before, and we're writing a very basic equal method. So we can actually compare if two products are the same. Now this is great, we can write this out, but Python has actually realized that this is a very common convention and people quite often do what you see here. So they've actually given us a shortcut to really avoid having to write all three of the methods you see here. Now that shortcut is using the data class decorator. So let's transform this code using that convention. So there we are, we now have code that is exactly equivalent to what you saw at the beginning of this section, where we now don't need to write the init, repr, or equal method. They're actually automatically implemented for us.